crafty friends welcome to another in our geometric pattern repeating pattern series today we're going to be using the circles from this stamp set don't worry if you haven't got this stamp set you can use any circle stamps that you have for today's card we're going to be adding a bit of water to our stamped images i've got regular old smooth white cardstock in here because we're not going to be adding too much water so this cardstock will handle it just fine you could use mixed media paper or watercolor paper if you want so if you've got some feel free to use that and i'm going to put some stick glue on the door of my stamp positioner just to help these silicon stamps stick to it they can be a bit temperamental silicon stamps when it comes to sticking to things like acrylic blocks or positioner doors so uh, stick glue just helps with that and I know I said that distress oxides and silicon stamps don't necessarily work together particularly well they tend to bead up on them I'm going to lean into that effect today and use distress oxides this one is faded jeans and I'm going to stamp it on my stamps and mist them with a bit of water to give them a bit of liquid press them down and I'm looking for a watercolory effect so I don't want these to be perfectly beautiful crisp impressions I'm going for a, a watercolory smushy effect and I'm going to accentuate by taking a wet paintbrush and brushing it over my images so I'm not using too much water I'm not soaking the paper I'm just taking some water and activating the ink and bringing some of that color onto the white areas of the stamped images you could probably also do this with the Catherine Pooler inks anything that is water reactive water based if you want you can pop a little bit of ink on a palette or your glass mat or whatever you use and you can also paint that in too so that one is going to get a bit more of a blue interior you can let that dry naturally or you can encourage it along with some warm air i think that's dry enough now I'm going to take my, actually I'm going to dry them before I do anything else. There we go. I'm going to take my stamps and reposition them on top, overlapping or not the original images. Now these stamps are now sticky because I put glue, glue on them and that's fine because I still want them to stick to the door. Now we're going to pick another colour. I'm going to go lighter, I'm going to go speckled egg. Give them a spritz and then add them. Give them a few seconds to transfer. There we go. That's quite a light colour so I'm going to grab a bit more on my brush and add that over the top and I'm gonna go over the original blue image and if the two colors mix and mingle then that's absolutely fine they should work well together because I've got a green and a blue so I've dried my stamps with my microfiber cloth and now I'm gonna dry my card again card again not cardigan and just trying to think where I want this one maybe down here like that And for this, I think we'll go with this bluey green, greeny blue, broken china. It's quite a strong colour. I think this is going to be fairly dominant. I'm not 
I don't think I'm going to colour in the whole of that because that ink has kind of obliterated a lot of the pattern, but that's okay. Maybe needed to give it a little bit longer to soak in. This one you're going to still see the pattern. I'm going to get a bit of paper towel actually and press it down on that one there just to lift a bit of the ink and you can actually still see some of that chevron pattern might lighten that as well ever so slightly and we're going to dry that and I think I'll add an extra one of this middle colour so we've got a bit more of the broken china and I'm going to take this as well, this small one. Oops, let's get rid of those. And take broken china, but be a little bit more sparing with it. And just do what we've done to all the other circles. So we've got the broken china and I'm thinking I might even want another broken china over here. Maybe, ooh, there's a small open one there that I missed. That's fine. Maybe that. I think I want to round out the pattern with the broken china. And this one, this open, small open circle that I hadn't used until now. I think I've got a couple more of those on there. All right, I'm happy with that now and I'm going to give it a really good dry with my hairdryer. The next thing I want to do to this now that it's dry is add some well-defined spatters. So I've smushed a little bit of Distress Oxide onto my mat, added some water, picked it up with a paintbrush and I'm going to spatter it on in a few places. And I'm going to do the same thing with the two other colours. Again, I'm going to give that a good blast with my hairdryer. Next, I'm going to prepare a landing spot for my sentiment. And I've got this strip of circles and I'm going to heat emboss those on this smooth white cardstock. And I might do several, even though in my mind at the moment I'm thinking I only want one, I might do several just so I've got some spare and I'm thinking gold embossing powder for this. So I've got five there. I only want one for this card, so I've got some for later. I'm thinking I will die cut them out using this die. This is a four by six inch card blank and I want to cut this down so that it fits on with a nice little border and I'm going to use this rectangle die to do that and to add it to my card blank I'm just going to pop some tape runner on the back. There we go. If you wanted, you could colour the border in one or all of those Distress Oxide colours to give it a bit of an impactful edge. Now we've got our little banner. That's going to go up on foam tape. I'll use my T-square ruler to get that lined up and I'll pop it so I can still see some of this circle here. 
But my sentiment, I've got this little stamp that says hip hip hooray with a couple of stars on it. And I'm gonna stamp it on vellum using Stazon, because that's a good black ink for stamping on vellum. I don't want to press down too hard because it's an outline stamp. I don't want to smush the outline. I think that's good enough. So although the vellum dulls the gold behind it, you've still got a bit of gold peeking out and the gold isn't too much. To adhere the vellum, I've got my Crafter's Companion tape runner, which is great for vellum. It doesn't tend to show through an awful lot. And I think just to bring in a bit of contrast and because we've got a black sentiment, I'm going to add a few black Nouveau drops. So that's this card finish. Not so much a repeating pattern, but a different way of using shape stamps. So let's take a look at this stamp set. Got some triangles that I haven't used yet, some teardrop shapes that I haven't used yet. We've still got a few chevrons that I haven't used and some of the individual square stamps as well as the sentiments. So I think there's at least two or three more videos in this series. So if you want to be notified when those videos air, then Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and make sure that you've got notifications switched on in the app settings and your phone settings or whatever device you're watching on. Right, that will do for today, I think. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back here very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.